Good morning guys, so I am in Unionville, I picked a really bad spot for sleeping last night because I didn't notice that that is a massive light which shines down right onto my tent and illuminates the whole thing, so I was pretty much in bright light the whole night, I mean obviously I did have like my, my buff on to cover my eyes and stuff, um, also my tent was soaked from the night before so obviously like tried to get dry most of it dry but then the issue that I was having is like all the the water was just like coming in um so I was trying not to get I mean it's not too bad um but I just don't know how to get it dry before I pack it up again um because I'm also sleeping you know camping out for as well Ooh, so um I really need like bright sunshine to come out just to dry it out my only thought process is basically um, at about 11 miles in there's a place we can go for like lunch and stuff so hopefully that'll be midday be nice and hot get my tent out again and just try and get it dry because there's also like there's loads of condensation on it but, and stuff at the moment um, yeah, all my stuff here I mean everything is in dry bag so it's all fine so nothing's really that wet um, yeah, anyway, I'll um, I'll keep you updated about my, my plans for the day. I don't know what time. Just decided to get up because, um, yeah, the light was shining through. Hey guys, sorry it's a little bit noisy. There's a big old road in front of me. So I'm just at Haulish General Store. I've just done a quick resupply. Also, all myself a breakfast sandwich. And I'm charging up my electronics. Um, so yeah, feeling quite relaxed this morning. I just basically, I'm waiting for the sunshine to dry my tent because I just can't pack up a wet tent. So uh, the sun is out, the sun is shining, it's about half dry. So I'm actually having quite a relaxed morning um, instead of getting up early and leaving. The time now is, the time now is 8.54. So I'm just gonna wait for my sandwich, grab my sandwich, charge my phone for a bit, then head down to the Wi-Fi, get my Wi-Fi, and then hopefully, by the time I get back to my tent, it's gonna be dry and then I can pack everything up and it's gonna be awesome. Oh yeah, sandwich, thank you so much. Yay! Awesome. Enjoy that. Breakfast sandwich, <laughs> woo! 9.23, the sun is shining, my tent is dry, everything is packed in my backpack. I'm feeling so relaxed, I'm gonna resupply. Unionville has to be one of the best places. So you walk down this road, 0.4, you've got a general store, you register to camp, it doesn't cost you anything. You walk less than 30 meters, you turn left, there's a park just over there. You come and camp over here, right opposite the campground, there's a pizza place with Wi-Fi. If the Wi-Fi stretched to the camping, it would be 100% perfect. Otherwise, it's got everything you need. Resupply, place to eat dinner, place to camp, doesn't cost you any money. Um, they're even a porta potty. Just such a win-win. So much better than Damascus. Um, right, I am gonna make a move now. <laughs> or else I'm just gonna sit here and just wanna sunbathe. But I've obviously got a lot of miles to do. Uh, I'm gonna try and go for about 24, 25 miles today. I am starting obviously really, really late, but totally worth it for the psychological benefit of knowing that my tent is dry. I think that makes such a massive difference because if you know, if I got to to where I'm at, wherever I camp tonight, and I took it out, and it's wet, it just it's just a complete and utter nightmare. So um, life is good, people. Life is very good. Oh yeah, guys, I'm starting walking again, and do you know what's been amazing? Just got a little bit of trail magic, and trail magic was bug spray. I've just covered myself in it, Corinthian or however you say it, or DEET or whatever it is and I feel so good it's like the bugs are not getting me today hell no oh my god the sun is incredible right feeling very energized feeling very motivated maybe having a late start is a good thing we'll see and see in a couple of hours I'm going to be like no why did I start the day so late I don't know so very impressed with Hauler's general store they made me an awesome breakfast sandwich um yeah life is good Life is good. Bye guys! Oh, hey! Yay, yeah, it's the British contingent! Woo! I made it! <laughs> we are walking across some beautiful green fields today. Oh yeah. Super pretty. And also, super flat. And also, 
no rocks. <laughs> Check out this funky little peacock made out of golf clubs. How cool is that? Very funky. Whoop! <laughs> Um, guys, this is one of my trail angels. Say your name. Dennis is the name. Dennis gave me some water earlier, yes. which is totally amazing. And I saved her. He did, he totally <laughs> saved me. <laughs> now, he's just pointed this out, so we're at a view. Now, I'm hoping you can see it. So, Dennis, what were you telling me? I'm telling you that that is a high point monument in uh, northwest New Jersey, and you've hiked up to that and then came across this section here to the point where you are right now. Pretty cool. It's pretty epic. I'm not sure if you can see how far it is, but uh, you, you definitely, I definitely showed you that, and then I also showed you the other tower sticking out. But yeah, it's cross over that, wow. Oh my God, we've done that pretty quickly, guys. You're doing good. Doing very good. <laughs> One step at a time. On the boardwalk, oh yeah. This is, this is a very cool bridge. Check this out. Woo! How awesome is this? I wish this was the border into New York. That would be really cool. It's not, it's just crossing a river. <laughs> the green, flat, grassy New Jersey has changed to big old rocks and a big old climb. I just passed the lady, she's like, oh, it's only about 50 minutes to the top. And I was like, one five? She was like, oh no, five zero. And I was thinking, you also don't have a massive backpack on your back. So I'm probably looking like an hour and 20. Always fun. Let's go do it, guys. Let's go smash this. doing the time is oh my god I've just got a little mosquito which is biting me get off me sorry um, time is 6 44 I've just reached the shelter I don't know if you can see that sign but I feel as though I want to carry on walking like to be honest I really wanted to cross the border into um, into New York which is uh, exciting that's where it says my phone New York um, the only issue that I basically have is I'm not sh really sure if there's any, there's no more shelters on the way or one or a shelter that I could reach. Um, so I might just have to do some wild camping, but I feel like it's too early to stop. I think I want to carry on walking for like another hour or so. So yeah, I'm just gonna carry on and see how far I get and then maybe do a little bit of wild camping, I think. Um, that is the, that's the plan. little bit dark now I'm just gonna push on for a little bit longer and just to try and find um, a camping space but I am so close to New York the state of New York so yeah I just passed the girl she's like oh congratulations on finishing New Jersey and I was like oh my god am I close she's like yeah I haven't come to it yet though um, I haven't seen a sign or anything um, so yeah let's keep on so guys you can see um, it's starting the Sun is starting to set but hello, what do we have here? It's a little bit dark. New Jersey. Boop, boom. New York, baby. Oh, this. Oh, this is the border. 
you can't probably see, but I am like stepped up over both of it. Hello, New York. 